Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today on Technically Speaking, we're going to be looking at the differences between the new Elite ESP software and the old Sport ECU Manager software. Now previously with the Sport ECU, what a lot of people used to do, and I know I used to do it this way, is I'd get the wiring diagram, I'd sit down with a pencil and a piece of paper, and I'd write down on the wiring diagram how I wanted to wire the car up. So I might have put, oh look, DPO1, I'm gonna wire that to my thermo fan. DPO2, I'm gonna wire that to my shift light, and so on and so forth. Then I'd take my wiring diagram, I'd put it on the car, and I'd start wiring the engine up. Once I'd wired it up, I'd connect it to the laptop, turn on the software, get my diagram again, and enter in what each output and input was set up as, as per my wiring. That's the old way of thinking. Now with the new Elite Series ECU and the Elite ESP software, it's much smarter. There's a better way of doing things. So what we do now is, rather than starting with a wiring diagram, we start in the software. We open the software up, we create a base map for the engine you're about to wire up, set up the inputs and outputs in the software, and then we actually have the software generate the wiring diagram for us. Print that out, take that to the vehicle, and do our wiring. So lots of benefits to doing this. For example, say a car comes to you as a customer uh, in a year or two years time, and you didn't do the wiring, but you need to try and fix something. It's having a problem. You're not sure how it's wired up. The great thing with the Elite ESP Software is that you can go in, print a wiring diagram directly from the software, and then go to the vehicle and check out whether it's been wired correctly. So let's take a look at the software and see how to do that. So to build a base map, the first thing we want to do is go to File, New, and we want to select the Elite 2500 ECU. Within the ESP software, we want to go to Setup, Main Setup, or just press the F4 button, and we want to go to the Functions page. Now within the Functions page here, you set up all the different functions that you want the ECU to do. So you make sure you've got an air temperature sensor, a coolant temperature sensor, fuel pump, uh, manifold pressure sensor. In this case, I might set up, I want to do anti-lag. And I can see, when I select anti-lag, I get the settings for anti-lag. I want to arm via TPS, or maybe TPS and a switch. The ECU software tells me, oh, you need to set up a switch to do that, so it brings up that menu. Click Edit Connection, and it brings up the available inputs that I have to do that function. Select that, and it's ready to go. I might set up a drive-by-wire throttle, for example. select drive-by-wire throttle. The ECU tells me that I need to wire up two TPS inputs and two APP inputs. Edit the connection, select from my available inputs. Now that I've got all of my available inputs set up, I might also want to set up nitrous control, for example. Edit the connection so that I've got the right inputs and outputs set up go into the settings, make sure my nitro settings are correct, it's all good. So now I've set up my map so that I've selected all the inputs and outputs that I want to run. I go to view IO report, that's view the input and output report, and the ECU generates for me a wiring diagram. I simply hit print report and the software will generate the wiring diagram for me. Then I can take that wiring diagram, print it out, take it to the vehicle and wire it up. Or alternatively, perhaps a car has driven into you, you're not sure of the wiring, so you can simply go F4, functions, view IO report, print report, and you can generate on the spot a wiring diagram for any vehicle, no matter who has wired it up. Well, there you have it. There's one of the small differences between the new Elite Series ECU and its ESP software, and the older Sport Series ECU. That's all we have time for today. Don't forget to rate, Comment and subscribe. I'm Matt from Haltech and I'll see you next time.